here's how you make uh, elk um, spaghetti sauce from hamburger. I got the hamburger in there. Turn this saucepan off so we can uh, hear better. Anyways, this is uh, an elk spaghetti sauce. I've already put in the tomato paste, a can of it right there. I've got the uh, red peppers cut up. I got the orange to still cut up. I got the uh, spaghetti sauce. It's in there now with the elk hamburger. I got to cut some mushrooms up in the onion there. Dice it and put it in. And um, I added this to the meat when I first started cooking it. It's good garlic uh, pepper. Yeah, it gives it a little bit of flavor. So this is how a bachelor cooks up uh, an elk um, an elk base spaghetti sauce. This is how I do it. Um, so I'll, I'll dice them up and then I'll come back in a little while and show you it all done here. I added um, about um, almost half of a tin of this Brava beer into my spaghetti sauce. I put it in here. To be no uh, kids eating this, just me, so I can add beer to it for alcohol. A little bit gives it a little bit of a tinge. I got the, it all stewed in and done. The tomato paste is mixed in with the tomato sauce and the elk hamburger. There's two pounds of elk hamburger there. I'm going to be able to freeze some for other meals later on to have spaghetti sauce and spaghetti down the road later. I've diced all onions, one full onion. <clears throat> Two uh, peppers, one red, one orange, and I've uh, got the mushrooms diced there, ready to go in. But I'm going to put them in last because they cook quick. And I'm cooking with uh, pure olive oil, the only thing to use. So once this is done, I'm going to end up putting it in with my uh, tomato sauce and hamburger, and I'm going to. Uh, Add those um, mushrooms near the end there, and then they're going to throw it all in. And I'll have a fantastic spaghetti sauce for supper tonight. It's a nice spaghetti. So that's how you you do a bachelor's um, spaghetti sauce. Take it or leave it. The onions and um, peppers are done now. I'll add the mushrooms here and cook them up with that for a while and we'll come back and show you when they're done. Their veggies are all cooked and done and I'm going to um, put these veggies into the frying pan here with the tomato sauce and hamburger There we go, and now I'll stir that all up. Heavy, lots of sauce there. That's going to last me for about probably probably six meals anyway. Mix it all in. I had some tomatoes, uh, cut tomatoes, I'd throw them in a can. I don't have any. That would help, uh, you know, make it a little bit thinner because it's a pretty thick base here. Add a little bit more um, this Brava beer. Mm. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to have to thicken. It's too thick. I'm going to have to put some more. I got another uh, jar of um, tomato uh, sauce here, right here in the cupboard. So I'll add that to, th to thin it up a bit more because there's a lot of meat there, a lot of vegetables. Anyways, I'll shut it down and get back to the final. I added uh, another jar of uh, spaghetti uh, sauce. There it is, the jar. So it's two jars I added to two pounds of hamburger with uh, veggies. And um, there, you, there it is. I'm going to turn it off. It's all mixed together and it's um, simmering there. And I tasted it. It tastes excellent. And you all know how to skip cook spaghetti. You just take what, what you need for a meal or, or for the family meal. If it's, you know, no kids involved because there's alcohol in, in this uh, sauce here. Um, you just um, take it and put it in hot, put it in when your water's boiling, put it in in a little, first of all, add a little bit of salt in the, in the pot with the water so that it don't stick the, the spaghetti um, noodles here. Um, yeah, and then you just boil them till they're, they're tender and done. Then do your servings. The rest of that beer is for me. I added just over half of it, but the rest is going down inside my stomach. I'm going to drink the rest myself. Anyways, that's how you uh, do uh, an elk uh, spaghetti sauce. So there's enough for tonight's meal and like I said I'm going to get six meals out of it. There's enough for five of their meals there. I'll freeze them and then I'll have these, I'll have this uh, sauce that's in the pan for tonight with my spaghetti. So uh, I'm very happy about doing this because I got lots of meals. And I only got a couple of frying pans to clean up. I put these cloths here so I don't uh, dirty up my uh, stove. And I just put them away later after I'm finished. It uh, helps out big time. Underneath, underneath here, there's lots of um, clean stove top. Anyways, that's the final. <laughs> 